um, let's talk about this. I got news of some wind of uh, the new Miss America, and everybody is up in arms about it, man. Everybody is so upset. Everybody's upset. And I figured, what a better time for me to take this opportunity and discuss the new Miss America, or Miss Alabama, I apologize. Miss Alabama, which is a big title, right? You want Miss Alabama, so that means you are, you're going to be fine as shit. Like, you're going to, you're, you're not going to be unattractive going for any type of pageantry, right? I mean, everybody's seen the article. It's it's big. It's, it's making headlines everywhere. Everybody is, everybody knows what Miss Alabama is and Miss New Jersey, just Miss Rhode Island. Everybody knows it. You've seen it. Miss Alabama, 2024 winner Sarah Milliken who's humiliated by haters for her weight, you know, and just goes on, shows the picture. Plus size model Sarah Milliken recently made waves by winning the Miss Alabama title at the National American Miss Pageant. Um, let's stop for a minute. I'm not even going to read the rest of the article. You know why? Because first off, this title is wrong. Did she win Miss Alabama? Yes, she did. Yes, sure. Uh, but... What, what is key here is that a lot of people are not going to dig and just go a little bit further than just reading the title. They're going to think that this is the regular Miss America. I just want to put this out here. This is the Miss America, the, the, the people that go for Miss America. You don't see any Fatty McMuffins here, right? I'm not trying to do ad hominem, but you don't see any. There's none. They're all beautiful women. Attractive across the board, right? This is, this is Miss, Amal Miss Alabama. She would not be able to compete with these people. But of course, people read the title and they're like, oh my God, there's no way that some Fatty McMuffin won Miss Alabama. Again, I repeat, that is not the official Miss Alabama. This is some other shit, okay? Now, I know what you could say is you could say, well, <sighs> she still won Miss Alabama. It, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't. You you don't. You 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 don't. What what this is is a different type of pageantry where everybody's accepted. I think the real Ms. Alabama could sue whatever this pageantry is for trying to take that title away, almost invalidating it, because it's not the same thing. And of course, everybody's up in arms. You got you got fatties winning. What the hell have we come to? And it's usually people from the right wing. I'm just putting that out there. It's the people from the right wing, but they don't do enough of research, right? They're just right off the jump, just, and, and Donald Trump talks about this, fake news all the time, right? We, we talk about that. This is fake news. It's, it's not the official Miss Alabama. Let, let's just be clear. Now you do have a caveat in there of a problem that, well, if, if a pageantry is doing this, you're kind of making a mockery of what the original Miss Alabama and Miss America stands for. It's for beauty, elegant, uh, attractiveness, sexy, walking, walking. There's so much that's involved with the, the pageantry. People that have no idea about the pageantry are first to comment and say that this should not be accepted. The fact that they made one to allow plus size models, yes, it does irritate me. What do you expect? Don't believe everything you read online because when you look it up online, believe me, I searched. I was searching for a good three minutes and I'm a pretty quick searcher. I was just trying to find some kind of official news about Miss Alabama. Of course, it pulls up all the shit of this chick and all the haters that she's getting. Um, I want to see the bikini part. That's what I want to see. I want to see the rest of the lineup. I want to see you do the walk. I want to see you do the conversation. But you can't find much on this. Aside from this person having to come defend her honor, um, a lot of haters, a lot of trolls coming online saying that you shouldn't have won Miss Alabama. She, in theory, did not win Miss Alabama. She won Miss Alabama for the national. I, I just want to show you something. This is the not. Okay, look, let me help you out a little bit. This is the official website for the NAMIS, not N-A-M-I-S-S. -S. And you see these other people. All right, I just want you to look at those people, and then we're just going to move over here and look at these people. You tell me. Okay, you see what we're looking at. We're looking at eyebrows over here. I'm not going to touch. I'm not going to touch that. I'm just, I'm going to stay away from that. I'm going to stay away from, like, from here on. Um, 
this chick eyebrow eyebrow Susan she can't compete with these people she just can't it's a different bracket you don't belong in that fight right so I'm not gonna touch that I'm uh, also not gonna touch that one those are those are um national queens here we go see I can't shit I'm gonna have to go somewhere else ah <sighs> I don't know why there's so many kids on this. I don't know what's happening, but it just goes to show you how this is just, it's just not accurate. That's, that's all that I got. It's just not accurate. I'm trying to look at a website, trying to find out where the adults are, but I'm not getting anywhere. But I, I, I just find it funny how people are so quick to assume that she won Miss Alabama, when in reality, the Miss Alabama she won would be equivalent to me winning if there was a competition for the person that can wrap the best coil and make, I would win Mr. Mr. Florida. It's the title that's deceptive.